Welcome today to my session about uh, practical reporting on HP Service Manager. Um, my name is David van Heusden. I work for a company called Westbury and we provide since uh, 12 years reporting on HP Service Desk, Service Center and now also Service Manager. What are the challenges that we see, uh, the reasons why we've created the product as, uh, that we've created? One of the things are that what we see is that um, reporting on IT service management data currently or in the past has never been uh, of that much importance. So satisfaction around that, those reports uh, wasn't strong and over the years, especially now when process owners are more involved in um, talking and discussing and maturing the processes, they want better reporting but the IT staff who are responsible for getting the data out service manager are not able to meet their demands. So we have on the one hand a group of audience, the process owners who uh, lack the necessary um, abilities, no not abilities, the necessary tools to uh, get the reports that they need to improve the processes and to drive continuous service improvement. So one of the questions they said is, I just can't extract the information that I need from my service management tool. Um, whenever I ask my colleagues to come up with a new report, it piles up next to all the other tasks that they have lying around because they're not only responsible for creating the service manager reports but also for uh, managing the application or managing 15 other applications. Uh, we want to focus on creating reports, not getting the data out of the system. So why would you spend an enormous amount of time and energy uh, in getting the to the data that you need to actually build the reports? Well, you want to focus on building the reports. Um, as I will show you, building a simple report takes at least 15 to 30 minutes. And then you have really the bare basics of a report. Building the actual report that you need to drive continual service improvement will cost you days, maybe, talking to each of the various parties. And that's what you want to focus on, not getting to the data that you need in that report. And as said, the need for ITSM reporting is increasing. Um, processes are being ramped up. First, we started off with incident, interaction or call, then change, problem, request management, knowledge management, all, all processes are getting are maturing, but demand for reporting will not decrease, it will only increase in order to facilitate that. So what are the requirements that we see around us for reporting on that service management data? We want a cost-effective solution to build those reports. Everybody knows that um, we can either spend money on a tool, on people, or a solution. Um, spending money on a tool is very um, um, is acceptable, but if that doesn't give you what you want, if that doesn't meet your goals, then you still don't have uh, the solution for your problem. So, um, what do you need? You need a platform that helps you build those reports that you need when you need them. And you don't want to rely on uh, the technical people at the back end who have other tasks to do than just service you with reports. So you want to be in control of building, maintaining, modifying and creating your own re set of reports. You want a faster turnaround time. You don't want to spend days or weeks discussing with three parties, the, 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 the DBA or the um, the application owner, the process specialist, to come up with the definition of a report to see which data you need, to ask where the data can be found in the, in the back-end database, then to come back and say, um, but that's not enough, I want to change this part in my report, so I need this data, and then you go back to the drawing board again, which takes time delays, etc. You want to make sure that the people who create, who have, who want the reports, who want the information, are able to create that, those reports themselves. You don't want to be stuck with a tool that doesn't give you the information that you need because it stores it in a different way in the, in the database. Um, reasons for storing data in a database from a server management perspective is different than reporting on that data. 
So uh, from a service management perspective, you want to be able to have your help desk employees be able to create tickets very, very fast. In order to do that, the application designers make changes or uh, make a decision to store data in a certain way in the database um, to um, so-called arrays or um, binary data, which is perfect for a fast service manager application, but it doesn't suit your reporting needs because you can't read that data directly from the database. We see a gap between the data on the left-hand side and the people who actually want, it's a bit small, I don't think we can read it in the back, but it actually says um, the specialist, your uh, service manager, your process owner, or your uh, auditor, uh, and on the left-hand side it just says HP Service Manager Database. So th there is a gap. So we have people who want that information out of Service Manager, but they, sam they can't really seem to get at it fast or without the proper people and equipment. What we build is a dedicated reporting database. And we do that because uh, not all data, as said, is stored in a readable format in the HP Service Manager database. And you only need, the re you only need so much of the data to build those reports that you need. You don't need all the data in your Service Manager database. So you decide, uh, I have these requests for my ITSM reports and I will create those reports based with this set of information, so please get me that information into a dedicated reporting database so that we can easily report on that data. Um, what we've built is a so-called connector, and the connector is nothing more than a uh, piece of technology that is able to read that scrambled data that's stored in the HP Service Manager database. So from arrays or from binary data, it's able to read that data and uh, in most cases, split it out into multiple readable columns, tables, and uh, relations between tables, even. But that's not all. Then you have a reporting database, and then you still have the problems. Then you would still need SQL knowledge to create that data, to get at that data. So that's the second part. You don't want to be stuck with a uh, technology that has your end users still thinking about but how do I create a query? How do I create a connection between the incident process and the change process and the change tasks? And uh, how can I get to my activities? That's not something you want to focus on. That's something that you want to have solved at first hand. What we did is we created so-called universes, uh, which are object libraries from a business perspective, from a service management perspective that contain all the objects that you know from a service management perspective, from a service manager perspective. So uh, as you will see in the demo, uh, you will just have objects that are readily available um, for the end user to select and to drag and drop into uh, an interface and build your report. Just like uh, a bit like uh, choosing uh, um, uh, information in, into an Excel sheet. Next to that, obviously, we offer a set of startup reports which should give you a head start in building your reports and give you a, um, uh, examples of how you could build your reports and how you could look at that data from your perspective. Because it, all, it also makes a lot of sense to discuss with your audience inside your companies to not focus on getting the data out of service, out of service manager, but to also discuss how your reports should look and how your reports, uh, do they need to contain a table or do they do you need to contain a graph and what sort of graph do you need? That's more important because you need to get the information across in your organization. If people don't understand your report, they're not going to do anything with the information that's contained in that report. So building your own custom reports and obviously um, scheduling and publishing functionalities to automate and to make sure that you can drive a whole reporting life cycle, as we call it. Remember that we discussed something that you could put in the hands of the process owners and not uh, include any technical people from the back end, no relying on your DBA or service manager application owner who has a lot of other work to do. Uh, the people, the process owners, the service managers, they can get their hands on the reports, they can build the reports themselves, they can modify, they can discuss the reports, they can focus their attention on uh, improving the report to actually show what it needs to show. 
Um, we offer that solution in the form of SMI suite. It's an implementation that takes weeks, not months. Um, and our added value are not only giving you these object libraries that you can easily build your reports for, but we also provide uh, predefined calculations like first time resolution, first line resolution to uh, easily facilitate you in getting the reports that you need to get those improvements for your inter incident interaction processes. For more information, uh, please visit our website, um, have a test drive, come by our booth at C3, and uh, I would like to leave the rest of the remaining session open for any questions that you have.